All right, thanks for staying with us. Eniola, who is known for reapplying lip gloss. Ah, where's my lip gloss? And powders in his content recently posted on Twitter that he does not hide his beauty products from his parents because he grew up in love and that the internet trolls cannot disturb him. He wrote, I grew up in love. When I tell my dad I love you, he says I love you too. If I go home, my mom would run outside to hug me. I don't have to hide my powders or lip gloss from my parents. There's absolutely nothing, nothing anyone on the internet wants to say that would ever get me, um, um, get, that would get to me, rather. So, you know, so we, we say men have worn makeup throughout history, right, for many reasons. Ancient Egyptians lined their eyes with charcoal. Um, ancient Babylonians and um, Incans painted their nails, a status symbol. Noble men in Asia and early modern Europe wore face powders for a fair complexion. And ancient Greeks and Romans used um, okra and iron gall to paint their lips and cheeks to appear younger. Some people find it inappropriate for men to wear makeup, often believing it is to be girly or indicative of homosexuality. So today we're asking, right, is it okay? <laughs> is it okay to wear makeup as a man? Is it okay for men to start to wear makeup? Uh, please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. Okay, we have a makeup artist in the house first. Let us come to her. Oh. <laughs> you see our good. You are Polish coach. Our first love was makeup artistry. <laughs> Hi, Norma Efaya. You know, I was going to come to you first on this one. So, is it okay for men to wear makeup, Norma? Ah, did Norma leave me? <laughs> can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. Okay, right. So I guess I was the one to be thrown under the bus. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Right. So the question is, is it okay for men to wear makeup? And my answer is, it's okay for men to wear makeup. It depends on how you wear the makeup. That's uh, the perspective I'm going to come from. Because makeup is not something new, even though now it has become more trendy um, due to the changing uh, times that we found ourselves, the changing attitudes of people towards uh, men wearing makeup. But makeup is not something that started today. As far back, like you rightly said, as the Asian Egypt times. In fact, coincidentally, the makeup at the time was seen to be a form of godliness, right? And it was also uh, something that was that that showcased their masculinity at the time. So over time now, things have changed, the trends have changed, and uh, people have different perspectives or perceptions towards makeup. But in today's world, and this is my perspective, it's important that people pay attention to themselves in form of presentation. You said I'm the Polish coach. I've had uh, clients uh, who, have, who, uh, who are men and who I've done makeup for, for their important events, whether it's a wedding event or an outing or even a, um, a um, presentation, you know, being showing up at a, a TV show or something. Yes, makeup has been seen to make a difference in people's lives, right? It's either used to hide um, bags under the eyes, so... Uh, when I used to, uh, I used to be a makeup artist for a show back in the days, and I had a TV presenter who was male. He was very particular. He had dark circles under his eyes, and you had to ensure that those things don't show on set when he's um, when he's airing. So those were 
differences, so to speak, that could have that were made to his appearance, and also helped in bringing back confidence. Right. So makeup has been seen to do a lot of things, but where I draw the line is what people, um, how men apply the makeup. For example, I have a challenge with men um, applying makeup that have iridescent colors, you know, shine or shimmer, because now it's a tad too much. It's okay for you to have lip gloss too, because nobody wants, for example, to um, maybe if you have a, a, a husband or a boyfriend <laughs> and you want to child lips. Nobody wants to experience child lips when they're having an intimate moment, for example. So it's important that people pay attention to their grooming, so to speak. Being able, even today, I, I saw a video coincidentally uh, about a young man who had used, <laughs> who had used some kind of spray to like sort of arch his, his, um, his, um, his, his, his hairline, his hairline. Thank you, mm -hmm. his hairline. And uh, his, his neck did yes. something, sort of hit him Magic. and then you know, brushed off a part of it that was, that was sprayed on and then revealed the hairline that was missing. Yes, while it can be too much for some people, I think it's something that has helped a number of people gain confidence has helped a number of people to be able to to project themselves in a way that is also professional when people are groomed when people are well um, um taken care of as if for those who have like um what do they call it routine skincare routine we take good care of that skin when you see them you actually see the difference there are people who love it rough and dirty i don't know there are also people who love it well taken care of. I'm one of the people that love well taken care men. So it depends on your preference, but I think I believe it's okay for men to wear makeup. Okay, let me when come. I drop, when you come when you the line, is the, to which, is the extent to which you apply the makeup. That's where I'll have a problem. Yes. Okay. Jennifer, <laughs> <laughs> let me come to you. Uh, so wearing your makeup, like you rightly said, it didn't start now. Um, from the 60s to the 70s, I mean, in the 60s, a lot of men who, or the men who wore makeup, they hid themselves, right, to do it. But by the time you got to the 70s, men became bold and they wanted people to challenge them for it but most of the people who actually did wear makeup and were very bold with it were rock and roll artists like david bowie and the rest they had on their makeup yeah, they wore, Michael Jackson. yeah so they, they they wore makeup to actually perform um i get i get what um norma is saying and i totally i totally agree i agree with that um, I mean, if you're talking about really loud makeup or short to makeup, I, I don't even think it's gender based. It goes both ways because we still see women who have like very really tacky loud, makeup. very tacky and very loud makeup. At the end of the day, I mean, do what works for you because if you go out there and you look a certain way, the truth is, in as much as you don't want people to judge you for your outward appearance, you can't control that because people would definitely judge you by what they mm. see. So if you come out... So do you, do you see happy, men that wear makeup, do you see them as gay? Um, do, they, do they come off? Do they rub so, off as gay? So to be very honest, to be very honest, if I meet a man who is wearing makeup right now, I would definitely think he's gay, right? Um, but I mean, I've also seen guys who wear makeup, maybe very subtle makeup, and they just act effeminate, right? But they are not gay. Well, I wouldn't know, right? It's, it's what you tell me, that's what I'm going to take until mm. I'm very, very certain or very sure, or you've actually like officially come out to say, oh, I'm gay, or you officially come out to say, oh, I'm not gay, but I'm still left with my opinion, right? So what I see in front of me, I'm just going to run with my opinion, and if that that's fine. So if you want to refute that, then you have to come out and say, "Oh, that's not who I am, or that's not what I am. I just enjoy." You have to just makeup. love this and your So I saw a performer kid this afternoon. Yeah. He posted. He just got this. His nose, nose pierced. Yeah. Okay, Jella, let me come to you. <laughs> because there is a there's a part of lip gloss and there's a part of powder. <laughs> 
But there's a part of men bleaching their skin. You understand? Full blown bleaching. This one and the men are shaping their eyebrows. You know, one day I took my son to the barber. The, the barber was bringing a clipper close to his brow. If you see the eye that my son gave to the barber, <laughs> you know. Men that, men that bleach their skins, you know, pierce their nose. Men that even do BBL. Like I've seen men that have done BBL body, you know, and all that. How do you then start to differentiate? Because I, I thought that certain features or certain things, personal, uh, certain kinds of, uh, how do I put it now, presentation was meant for certain kind of gender. And left for women. Yeah, is it possible that because the lines are becoming a lot blurrier these yeah. days, mm -hmm. where we don't know who is female, who is male, they say don't don't refer me as a, a what's it called? I want to be referred to as they them, you know, and all of that. Is it possible that that's what is we're seeing that is rubbing up? Let me come to you, Diola. Okay, so um. I mean, I, I want to talk about it from the standpoint of mental health. You see, um, I believe that um, a lot of us, are, a lot of people really hide well. They, they feel unseen. They feel unheard. And people sometimes mm -hmm. will do things that would probably give them some semblance of being seen or being heard. Now... Genuinely, I mean, there are people who probably, there are men who wear makeup, just like women, you know, from the point of, um, say, um, I have all this sport, and I, w I would talk from the point of view of even being a woman, you know, sometimes you have acne issues, and then it messes up your face, and then you, you feel less confident, especially if you have to be in public, and then everybody's asking, oh, this and... It's the same way, you know, men probably, some men would feel that way and say, okay, you know what, I don't want people asking me all sorts of questions. So again, makeup can, can, can be used to mask the, the, the imperfections, you know, as we see. And you see, the truth is imperfections directly in some way, you know, um, it impacts on our mental health. If you do not necessarily feel very confident in yourself in how you look, the odds that you would you you would act that way, you know, is very high. So for me, honestly, if you ask me, um, do I, you know, what do I think about men wearing makeup? Yes, I get the logic of it of why you know men would wear wear makeup, but I I really uh, well, I mean. You know, in my head, I, I kind of justify, okay, an actor who is on the who is on a set, you know, or someone who has to be on air, you know, with all the lights and all that. You don't want their your faces to look very bland. You want to have this picture of oh, very um, of perfection, confidence, this beautiful face, you know, talking to millions, inspiring confidence and all that. Yes, in my head, I justify it. But I mean, out there on the street. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I would probably judge. That's the truth. I would go like, excuse me, what's happening? You know, um, and me, mm, I'm not sure that um, if I have a guy friend who wears makeup, I would definitely ask him, guy, what's going on with you? You know, so, but that's me. I mean, does it make you wrong or right? Again, I don't know. And I like what you said. The lines are getting very blurry. I mean, men calling themselves women, women saying they're men. I mean. We don't know. So, again, so I don't know. So, <laughs> everything is for everybody. so, I was going to say, I love what you said about the fact that sometimes they feel unseen and unheard. Because I remember that when mm -hmm. this young man, Eniola, had started his kit, what actually caught a lot of people's attention was the fact that he was always talking with his lip gloss. You know, that was his own brand identity. He had to mm -hmm. own it, you know. I, I, and I've seen another guy, I think it's Papier or something, that always wears lip gloss to talk as well. I like his kits and all of that. You, could, you can tell that, again, these guys are content creators, right? They like to make sure that they catch your attention. And I think, uh, what's his name? I like this one. He said, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like they, and, and, and Yola successfully caught a lot of people's attention, you know, with that... Mm that um, application of lip gloss whilst, whilst he's talking and all of that. But there's something that he said that really struck me when he said something about he would tell his father, I love you, and his father would say, I love you too. You know, 
I, I think, again, um, I want to also look at this from the standpoint of probably parenting, right? Is it also possible that we're now having a lot more, what's it called, liberal parents, where they're, they're open to a lot of things, and that's why we're seeing more expressions like this. Because, I mean, I have a son that would love all the, he's the one that would notice you know, the earrings, your, oh, mommy, you just did your nails. He notices that there's a, there's a new lash uh, extension. He notices all of those things, right? And I, I can imagine if, for instance, I was a kind of parent that was, was liberal, you know, with him ex, um, expressing more of his effeminate side, you know. It's possible that, I mean, he could have just decided, you know what, I want to wear female clothes, I want to do this, I want to do that. So are parents, you know, encouraging this act, you know, are they the ones making it, you know, get a lot more, you know, because right now it seems like some parents are no longer, you know, able to say, okay, you know what, these things are, you know, like draw certain kinds of lines. Maybe, I don't know. But let's take a break. I want to open our phone lines. If you are a man and you are wearing makeup, please call us. <laughs> Stay with us. Thanks for staying with us. If you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out, and we're discussing the topic. Is it okay for men to wear makeup? And that's why I've left makeup for you people today. I know we're again. <laughs> so please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa One with the hashtag Wayshow. Okay, so I mean, what I was talking about parenting, I don't know. Is it possible that parents are the ones encouraging this? Um, to come out because I mean in those days there's another uh, young man on Instagram that's always looking really made up Daniela Gray you know he's always together like even maybe woman I don't think you know and he's that detailed and I think again he he might sort of be Eniola's mentor because Daniela Gray is like the you know before you like if you if you want to list it start from Darren Lay Darren Lay had you know everybody knows that he, he even says it that he's with it you know but I mean Daniela Gray came and he put a bit of you know class to men wearing and like showing up right he he is always on point at every point in time and he always used to say that his mom you know his parents they always you know I mean there's no like, you can't do this, you can't do that. And that's what, you know, even gave him the confidence to be able to come out and be the Daniela Gray that people know. And, I mean, if you hear Eniola saying that, okay, he has a lot of love in his family, his mom, his dad, and all of that, you can tell that this person is actually, you know what, confident and very, very well loved and all that. So do you think parents are, like, the ones encouraging this? Um, and should we keep on encouraging our children when we see them, like, towing in that line? So I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's stemming from the parents. I would say it's society. Yeah, there is this there is this trend that is ongoing. The same way you have a lot of trends with women as well, and a lot of people are just jumping on the trend. Anything goes these days, right? But one thing that I get to separate is for those who have love at home, who have parents that are quite supportive, they have a lot more confidence than people who do not have love mm. at home. Right. So if you come out with if you come out and you're different, once you're different, you're easily noticed. Mm. Right. And um, if you're not confident, you get easily bullied and people would pick on you. Mm. So two things happen is either you spiral out of control or you go back into your shell mm. and then you're hidden. Mm. Right. Um, a little backstory. I started following Eniola um, way before he became very Almost. popular. And at the time while I was following him, he used to write um, either poems or he had a blog or something where he used to just write stuff, right? And he would post about himself on Instagram and his makeup. His makeup wasn't that much, just little makeup, his lip gloss and whatnot. And people would insult would him throw. in the comment section. It was so bad. Hmm. Every time he posted something, I just go to the comment section and I get very sad. But guess what? This guy did not relent. And when I found out that just it just took a few months 
or a year or so. I think I followed him a year before he became, he just Big. blew up. Mm. And then I started seeing a lot of support. All these, I'm like, ah, you people. I remember you people back then, oh, mm. the way they would drag him. And it got to a point where he made a post one time, if I can remember correctly, where he actually addressed or that people that even if people come for him, that he's not going to stop, that he's, he's who he is, right? Mm. So seeing this tweet that he just made now, I'm actually really not surprised, mm. right? And if he's saying that he has love at home, it just shows that he has parents that are supportive. Mm. And um, I mean, some of these things that um, I wouldn't say kids, because they're not kids, um, young adults or even adults are doing these days. Um, some parents are just trying to be supportive because they don't want their kids to just completely leave home mm. and never come, come back. back. Absolutely. Because people are watching. Like, if I see something you're doing and I find it very trendy and very nice, I will jump on it, right? Mm -hmm. It might not be my personality. It might not even be who I identify as. Mm. But because that's what the society is excited about, that's what the society is pushing out there. Now, this is society is pushing out different. Mm. You're different. You're special. You're, you're, you're queer. You're weird. Combalibu. That's what everybody <laughs> is celebrating these Absolutely. days. So I, I think it is more society mm. than, than, than parents. parents. Okay, let me quickly open our phone lines. I apologize. Sorry, I didn't open our phone line. Our phone line is now open. The number to call is 70 7749 That's the number to call. Remember to turn off the volume of your television set, whatever it is that you're watching us from, so we don't get a feedback. If you are a man out there, is it okay for you to start wearing makeup? And if you have sons and you're a woman, are you okay? Are you comfortable with your husband or your brothers or your children or your sons wearing makeup? You know, just let us know. Um, because now it seems like um, it's the thing now. If you go on Instagram, and you know the thing with men and makeup on Instagram? The way they do it, they do it very meticulously. More than... <laughs> I can't even deal. But let me come to you, um, Diola and Norma. Do you agree with Jennifer that it's more society than parental influence? Okay, let me just quickly step in there. So there's a part of the society, actually, and I agree with Jennifer, society has created this um, environment or this atmosphere where people can actually now self-express and you know in different forms and it's okay and they are even encouraging you to do these things come out express yourself whatever it is it is fine that is the the order of the day now so even uh gender norms are, are also things that people are paying attention to as well and uh, cosme so cosmetics now, even the cosmetic industry is booming because not only are the female, not only are there women that are patronizing, we also have men that are beginning to pay attention to their skin, their, how they look, how they feel, how they want to express themselves. So basically, everybody is making money across board. But um, there's also the part of, and yeah, uh, that's an addition to what Jennifer has said about parents, right? So I would start by saying that the meanings that we give things is very, very important. And that is why in, in, in supporting our children, it's also important that we educate them about thin lines, you know, about boundaries, about things that you can do, but you can also create those boundaries for yourself. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with men having makeup on because gone were the days when the trend was about men looking rough and smelly, you know, that manliness, that's what they used to call it. The times now, people do not want people to smell manly about around them. They want you to go and take a shower. They want you to go and spray on some good perfume or groom your underarms or things like that, or even groom your beard. So it depends what your preference is, really. People prefer people like that, while some other people prefer them to be groomed. But where I, I still stand on is the the extent to which we do these things. Like even we say as makeup artists, less is more. When you put on less, you look better presented than when it's all out there. For example, yes, even if a guy wants to groom himself, um, 
Two arched brows is way too much. I know my hunger. I said that arched brows. If you, if, I mean, the, the moisturizers that you can use now that are tinted, that helps to like smoothen the skin, which is fine. But when you now apply foundation like a woman, like you're putting... We can be like a woman. Make up now, make up now. You can have... You can cannot say, say, you can no, no, can I say. said, I Is said, it? there's nothing wrong Norma. with makeup. It's not much. Calm down. Let me explain something and to I'm you. I'm coming to the wait, point wait. Let me. Ask. I want to ask, say something before you continue <laughs> this your talk. Because remember what Jennifer okay. said. That it goes both ways. Both a woman and a man. There's a way you apply makeup. It becomes an eyesore, right? What I'm trying to say to you is that Absolutely. if we accept makeup for men, then we should be comfortable for them to do it to the whatever extent they want to do it. We can't draw the line to say, no, don't do it this way or don't do it that way. Because you've already said it is okay for them to wear makeup. So let them wear the makeup the way they want to wear it. Have we not seen women? I, that's why I said that there are preferences, but for me, less is more. And this is cuts across board. And bringing it back to parenting now, for example, I have boys, and yes, they do use makeup. They use uh, lip, uh, lip balm, uh, lips gloss, chap, lip balm, chapstick, and stuff like that, which is okay because I want you to be well presented. If I call, if you come out and you don't spray on something, I'm going to send you back to say do some spray, even though you've done some washing, but add something to it because I want you to be presentable. But when you come out with arched brows, like this young man in the picture, <laughs> I'm going to have a problem with that. I'm going to no, have ma, a problem. You cannot have a when problem. Have, uh, no, of let course. Me that's where you to draw the line. No, let, me, let me take a call. Hold on. Love her for my beer has called in. Good evening. No, I say she got a problem. <laughs> no, ma, you're lying. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. How are you? We are good, though. <laughs> yeah, it's wrong. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, go Hello. ahead. Go ahead, we can hear you. Okay. Um, see, let me tell us. Uh, when you talk about me wearing makeup, it sickens me. I don't even want to hear you. What, nothing looks like original. We are to go to biblical aspect of it. Esther in the Bible did not put on any makeup, but he was accepted. Really? So, so, but what I'm saying, hello, what, I'm not sure hello, of your Bible, sir. What I'm saying is that men are supposed to be original, but I, 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 I don't subscribe that a man should not take care of his body. You should take care of your skin, but not to put on makeup like some people now. They put earrings, they plate their hair, they paint their face. Some of them have even turned their skin. They, you will see some parts like Coke, some parts like Santa, because of makeup. So I think men, I, I don't subscribe to men wearing makeup. Let them be original. Like you see me, I am a dark complexion. I, I remain that way. Till when death come in life. So I want men not to put on makeup. Remain original so that when the angel will come with your blessing, he will spot you out. Thank you very much. <laughs> so women are not original. Ah, we are not I original. Just finished us today. Ah. <laughs> Diana, let me come to you. You'll be cracking up, sis. <laughs> Diana, you have that, um that um i mean uh parents um have um i mean what they call it again um when we when we make a mountain out of a mole most likely i mean it, it, it just becomes something else and i've had arguments from i mean growing boys when you're trying to say oh do this just in in the bead to properly groom them you know there's always this snide remark like, oh, please, I'm not a CC, or please, are you trying to make me look like a woman, and all that. Again, that's because of the label that it has been given. So naturally, even now, when we see a guy that is properly well-groomed, a guy who takes his time 
to cut his hair, you know, do friction, nice steady, spends money to moisturize his beard and it's all that. See the quick. <laughs> Wow, we lost audio. Mm. Like he's suspicious when a guy is doing all those things. Well, I have one guy like that. He takes himself to the spa, yeah. grooms his nails, does his pedicure, his manicure. Even me with my boys, I'm actually trying to let the, learn, teach them how to groom, you know, themselves, you know, and all of that. Um, mm. it, it, it's interesting because again, we. I like the the idea that a man is well put together. Yeah. But I also like the idea that we're able to separate things. I've seen this guy, like physically, Elezonam, Noma, Elezonam, the mm -hmm. guy. I have seen him. My God, his skin is like glass. Even me, we be woman. Flawless. We get good skin. Mm. I looked at him. His skin is clean. Yeah. Do you understand? And he doesn't need makeup to do any of all of those things. Even for women. The reason we wear makeup most times, like Jola rightly put it, is because we want to also it's like, to hide, yes, hide yeah, some hide of the flaws that we have. If you have a flawless skin, Alicia Keys many years ago stopped wearing makeup. Do you understand? If you have a, if you have a flawless skin, you really don't need makeup, right? Except maybe you're doing something. But you know... That you, you, you come out fully made up, you understand? There's a lot that goes on with makeup. There's a lot, right? Some people hide under the, the guise of makeup. Yeah. Some people are not able to come out, you know, they're not confident enough. You know, so there's a lot. And I like where Jola took it from the mental health angle and all of that. The truth is, right, makeup, whether for man, woman, in all honesty, is because we want to hide certain flaws. We do all the makeup and all the glam and all of that to look in a certain way, right? If you, if you left me, honestly speaking, I can actually do without makeup, mm -hmm. you know, because my, my skin is getting better and better. When I saw that Elezonam's face, I said, oh my God, even me that I'm a woman, I said, no, 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 this guy's skin is flawless, right? His skin is clean. You can see that this is somebody that takes care, is, is well-groomed. So I want men to be able to differentiate that, that the fact that you're well, you're grooming, like you are, you, you groom yourself, does not mean you necessarily have to wear makeup. Yeah. Do you understand? You can have very Ooh, beautiful and that's nails. That's why I, I said that it's important for us to change the meaning. No, that's no wait now. To no change the meaning. That we no have no given. wait. Yeah. My own be say you say it is okay for them to wear light makeup. I'm telling you that once you accept that light they can makeup. wear light makeup, you then cannot can, also can tell them heavy. yes, you cannot tell them that they should not wear heavy makeup. Yeah. Makeup is makeup. Me, what I am even advocating, even for both men, women. If we start to groom our skin, yep. like we pay attention to our skin, we will need less and less makeup. Mm -hmm. Because as time goes on, you would actually be confident to stand with your skin the way you are, right? It is because a lot of times we want to hide under something. That's why we wear makeup. Do you understand? So, I mean, if well, we... For you to so take I would care say of your skin, to men and makeup, cosmetics eh? as well. You say what? For you to take care of your skin, you're using cosmetics as well. It's You're going to use cosmetics, cosmetics no ma. You, you actually, it's, some it's, men don't drink water. Some people don't take good It's part of makeup. Don't don't it's part of makeup. It's a situation where you have to exfoliate your face, for example. Cosmetics. If you are removing acne, that's part of makeup. It's a, well, it's a routine where you are no, using no, face wash, care, no, when you're not, using toners not, to hydrate yourself. There's a difference it's between skin care and makeup, no ma. So right? I, I, and I even think, for skincare, yeah. you necessarily don't have to use, um, what's it called, um, cosmet um, what's it called, like topical products on your skin. Skincare sometimes is from even solving a problem from within. Do you understand? Some of us don't have sometimes. good diet. Some of us don't have good sleep. Some of us don't eat right. Some of us don't eat the right fruits and veggies. And you expect to have a flawless skin. How is that possible? You would have acne. You would break out. There are things that come out with stress. You have spots. You have all of those things, right? So, I mean, I, we need to be able to differentiate it. When you see a well-groomed person, it's different from makeup. So, I would not subscribe to makeup. Whether light or whatever for a man, no, right? If you want to groom your skin, groom your skin and let us see your skin flawless. But once it starts to enter powder, the only thing I can allow you is to moisturize your lips, which everybody makeup. needs, you understand, yeah. because of the weather. But once you start to say, oh, let me just put small powder, small this, 
You don't, you've lost me. But it's not today that they said, they, even back in the days where they used to take photos, when you go to the photo studio, you would use powder to brush, to remove oil from well. your skin. Yeah. It's the Montana meaning that powder. have given, yes, with white powder, yes. Sunflower, if you remember, was very popular back in the days. The truth of it is that the meaning that we have given these things have also created that atmosphere for different things to happen. True, true. And that's where that's where when we educate the male. So maybe we should define what makeup is. Why is that Norma, you use these things? Know, white powder, yes. white powder, not be makeup. Let's take comments. White powder is not makeup. Let's define makeup. Me, it, it, it is it is makeup. What? Don't don't even yeah, go there. Exactly it is makeup. makeup. Dusting powder. But it's not dusting powder they put on your face. It's translucent powder. It is not dusting and it is powder used to that block they out use oil, oil, right? <laughs> it is that makeup is makeup. <laughs> oh, yeah, take on that. We are, we are running out of time. It's okay. And you're so, using cosmetics. I... Whether you broke eggshells, it is a way to maintain your skin. It is a way to enhance glow. It is a way no, to man, present we don't have time. We let us <laughs> Thank you, Noma. So we have a, a comment here that says, um, is it okay for men to wear makeup? My answer to your question is, with a capital, no. no. Makeup is used to enhance beauty and not handsomeness. <laughs> <laughs> Women can talk about beauty and men can talk about being handsome. Men who wear makeup may be deeply struggling with hormonal imbalance in their life. Yes, and they may have mental disposition of being gay. Real men cannot be seen wearing makeup in their lives, except if they are in a profession like art or television presentation to enhance the quality of their pictures. I will personally frown always at men who are venturing into the world of women with their makeup. This is from Sanctus. Okay. Jola, quickly. So, okay. Um, so um, this one says, um, sorry, a moment, please. Um, this one says, um, good evening, my dear beautiful sisters, and what are you saying? Hashtag ways. Is it okay for men to wear makeup? In my own opinion, the answer is no. Makeup generally is meant for women and not men. If at all men should wear makeup, I would suggest um, lip gloss, just in case of the Hamilton season. I am entitled to my opinion. Men should use men's things, while women should use women's things. Allowing men to wear makeup is making them to look like women, and it is totally wrong. It even makes them to look like masquerades and copycats. Finally, under normal circumstances, men are not supposed to wear makeup. My name is Daniel Elo, Ways regular, regular fan. fan. On that Thank note, you, I Daniel. Have this, I have this one. Bye bye. You. Eh? you have which I have one? This one from AJ Philo. Is that? It shouldn't. Leave something for. My gender, AJ okay. Fuller says. Okay, I didn't hear that. Okay, thank you, Norma. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Diola. Before we go, follow us, uh, follow us across all social media handles at Wish Show Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media, like and share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. I think men should hop, should hop on the makeup bandwagon because it lets you put your best face forward. It can give you self-confidence. If you have an important event, like how I needed it for my prom, for a meeting and for a date. This one is from somebody that needs uh, to go and sort out his confidence matter. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. As we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy. <laughs>